We'll be shrinking this back glass in a second. Now this right here is our SP9 shrink potion nine. This stuff's on here. It's dry. Guarantee you, you won't find anything that works any better or any cheaper. You know why it's cheap? Because I made a video showing you how to make it. Just another freebie from the film bender sponsored by Gasket Pro Tools. We're gonna show you how this thing shrinks and how it works and how it looks when we're done, just in a minute. We laid this so we don't scratch the car. This is our red shrink card. Um, works great. There's other brands out there that look like it, but for some reason, you can't get them now. And nobody wants to produce them. I can't produce them. I really don't know what the truth is on it, but the fact is, we've got these, and uh, they work great. I almost prefer them over the standard one. But anyway, when I shrink, some folks shrink differently. I like to shrink the edges, the corners first. That way you've got a full pattern in the middle to float the shrink. The reason being, if you start in the middle and work out this way, and you shrunk all you can, you still got too much excess film over here, you paint yourself into a corner. So you start getting creases when you burn the film. So with this not being locked down, I can float this corner up. I'll do this. And I'll work about a six or eight inch strip across through there. Get it almost down just like I want it. Just like that, move down to the bottom. Do the same thing. Just like that. I'm gonna get around to the other side. Don't matter if it starts at the top or the bottom. As long as you've got equal amount of fingers on top to bottom, whether it's a 50-50 split, 60-40, this is a 60-40. 60% shrink at the bottom, 40 to the top. This is a 2010 Ford Fusion with the real heavy dot makers. We're gonna show you a trick on that too. The funny thing is some people would say, why you spend all that time on an old car? I'm spending all this time on my customers because they had confidence in me to do the job for them, not a stipulation of how old is your car, we're going to treat you differently because for that mentality, you'll be stuck in one spot. Alright, now I'll go back to the other side and I'll be shrinking this rascal out. And by doing that, since you've got this set like that, I'll take my shrink card. I'm going to go ahead and lock this side. This is almost like a wet check if you're doing a wet shrink. So we've got that locked in. I'm going to go ahead and lock this one in. Then we got pretty much a floating area over there. If you see how it's floating over there. So we'll lay the film down without touching it at all. I'll come back and beat it with a card and lay it down 100% like it's supposed to be. Same thing here. You fluff a little air up under it. This also reduces on Chargers, Challengers, Mustangs, and other gear model fusions the risk of peanutting because we're shrinking a whole piece of film and not just fingers. You less stress on the total uh, whole piece of film. SP9 is really good stuff. It's just one of the free series and the video series of how-tos that we do on a month or bi-monthly basis. Our next one's gonna be how and what we mix for our slip solution. Y'all can be watching Rick come up soon. And just watch it float down.
the beauty of this dry shrink technique, unlike powders, the film actually bonds and sticks to the glass instead of continually floating. With a baby powder technique, it works, but you can over shrink a film, and it also puts a texture into the film because you're shrinking over the granules of powder. It's just not a not a viable source as far as I'm concerned when there's so much more advanced techniques like this. It's sort of like wet checking. Some of you old guys know what wet checking the shrink pattern is. It's putting water under it, making sure everything lays down perfectly. Call it card checking it. get done with this one. Tent Master B, Bruce Kelly will be installing this and showing you how to make it lay down these dots like he showed you on the quarter glasses. There's installers and then there's actual masters of the trade. One's not necessarily the other. Anyway, that's what we do. That's how that's done. We'll get some footage of Bruce installing the film. Thank you guys. This is what we're talking about with our product, how easy it is to clean up the SP9. If you try this with dryer sheets or any of that other stuff, bar soap, spray starch, any of that stuff. What else, Bruce? What's something else that's hard as hell to get out? <laughs> Deodorant. Yeah, whatever. But you see how that cleaned up? It wipes right off. I mean, that's that's what you want. You don't even have to put any water on it. But anyway, we're basically to cut this thing out and be done with it. We'll show you the results in a minute. Okay, guys, this is the continued saga on the uh, Ford Fusion 2010. Look up top here. We've turned this back window, and you can see how we got what we call silvering on the dots. And we'll show you guys how we remedy that. These right here are scratches in the glass. This car is fairly rough, but... <coughs> Excuse me, we're going to take care of it. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go where the dot stop with our torch. I'm going to move this thing slowly. I'm going to get a little heat soak into the glass. So, what this does, we're going to do what we call a dry drop method. We're going to do this, pull it outside for about 30, 45 minutes. And I'm going to go out there with a Mac Tac and I'm going to push that film back up to show you guys how you make this work. So we've heated that, so I, and I'll explain to you while I'm in there why we're doing this. When Bruce puts this on, we go ahead and extract all the water out because the way he squeezes it, he follows the matrix lines diagonally to push all the slip out. So that way, it does, we can do this process quicker. A lot of folks wouldn't do all this to it, but, and that's fine, but you know, if you're going to claim number one, if you're going to have pro in front of your name or pro after your name or anything associated with that, be the part. And uh, that's just one of the ways we do it. Let's go ahead and come right here. You ain't video me getting in this car thing, laugh your ass off and beat my fat ass up. Here's what we do on this situation. Once we do that, this thing is hot along this line and the, and the film is bonded to the glass right here. But we still got moisture up here. So this is what we call a dry drop technique. I'll do that. Now I'm gonna roll this film back off of the glass. Just like this. And by the way, this is Solar FX film. So it's got a heck of a glue on it. And it's already starting to bond. So this is gonna work out great. So we're gonna bring it all the way down to these dots right here, just like this. 
show them on the outside now so they can see how we're stopping. When we heated it, it successfully kept us from pulling the film down past the dots. And the reason we're doing it on the dots like this is because that's where the, the silvering and the gaps occur. So we're down there now. Now we're gonna park this thing out in the 100 degree heat for about 30, 45 minutes. Then I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna push this film back up on the vehicle and show you guys how that works. Good enough? Now, when you watch from the outside, I'm gonna ease it up a little bit of time. It's right here. Let's knock back the soft enough that it would push but down between the dots. And that's where the, the, the problem usually occurs is a actual squeegee is so hard you can't get it between the dots to go down. So this felt block, which is our house brand of tack hammer will fit down in there and work. So I just work it a little at a time. And it's funny how this works. If you know what they call air grass film, like wrap vinyl, these dots actually make this tent almost an air grass film. So your air is passing through and the moisture is just enough to, when we put in our slips, just enough to uh, cool it off. So it doesn't burn or singe it on there or whatever, because it is hot. Temperature is outside today. It's hot in here. Now, I'll pretty much get on the outside here. You can finish this job up so I can see exactly what I'm doing. You see, right here, we got a little silvering right there. I'll try to take the Mac Tack, squeeze it just a little more, working the what, a little bit of moisture up in there around those dots. Now we did sand these dots before we started. First with 600 and then with 1500.
guess in the background we ought to have Guns and Roses singing. Just a little patience. And then once it sets out here with the film down on it, you see how, like I say, the, the Mac tack or the, the tack hammer, it uh, it allows you to push down between the dots and lay the film down on the glass itself. That's the whole problem with this. The glues are not thick enough to press between those. But when you get it hot like this and you press the film down, it lets it manipulate it down in there. So that is how you get dot matrix done right. There's not that much more time involved to get it and get it right. It speaks volumes for your work when you give the customer 110%. A lot of folks charge extra for this. We're just out here checking over the car. So in this little bit of time we check over it, after we've tinted it, after it's been out in the sun, we just go ahead and add this process to it. We do charge the customer up front for a job. But show them from the inside how it looks. That's that's not vinyl over, that's not anything that is. We do add some alcohol to that slip to make it soften the glue up. And once it dries, it bonds and lays down smooth. And that's how you do it. Show them the quarter glasses now that they've dried. Probably get free. 